All right, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to do one of the, I guess, more hilarious uh, labs that, that, that I do, and uh, it's called the Pocket Solar System. Now, I can't claim credit for this one. The first time I did it was my first visit here uh, to the Plus Institute, uh, but it's just great. The students love it. Uh, it definitely is full of aha moments. It's got a lot of intrigue and cursing and it's, they are really well as much as i let my eighth graders curse but they are they it gets very tedious at the end and they grumble and mumble but you know when they come in and you know i tell them, hey today we're going to put the whole solar system in your pocket they go what it's crazy so what we're going to do is i'm actually going to have claire because uh, she's never done this she's actually going to physically do the entire lab with you. Yay, all right. So really all you need is some adding machine tape, a pair of scissors, which you really don't need, but you can have them anyway because we like, most of my students like their ends really neat and cropped off. And then you need to have them something to write with and you need to make sure that they're awake because mistakes can be made with this one. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get her a length of this adding machine tape. Now you don't have to measure anything. You don't have to take your meter stick out or anything like that. All you need to do is you tell them to stand up and then you have someone else take it. And if you'll hold this right there at the top and you just take it and go all the way down and it disappear for a second. Rip it off at the bottom. And that's their piece of tape. Now, I usually like to ask them to trim the ends, so if you don't want to trim the ends, make sure they're nice and flush. Cool, all right. Now, you can have a seat, and you're gonna need to, you're gonna need all the room on the table. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do uh, and I can never remember it, so I'm going to have to read this. So what you're going to do is you are going to fold, or uh, you're gonna, on one end, excuse me, before you fold, on one end, you're going to write the word sun. And I, I usually write it right along the, the edge that you just cut, and write sun. And then on the other end, down here, you're going to write Pluto. Now, I'm one of the old school, and for me, even though they took it away, Pluto's still, you know, it's still one of the planets. So, but Pluto's on the other end. So now you've got both ends of your solar system. You've got those marked. You've got the sun, which is at the center, and you have Pluto at the end. All right? Uh, this is a great activity for them to, to just kind of remember the different planets. Uh, it's always a good debate about Pluto, you know, being, why did they take it away? It gets a lot of conversation. We talk a lot in my class, uh, and uh, students love to, um, Students love to, uh, to discuss things because I believe, you know, if you're not talking about it, you're not learning. So, um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of step to the side. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to fold this paper in half. So we're going to fold it in half. Or she's going to fold it in half. Okay? All right. Now you can open it back up. All right, now we're going to, obviously what we have marked is we have marked the center of our solar system. So what you're gonna do is you are in there again, you're gonna discuss this with your students and you're gonna say, okay, so what planet uh, do you think is at the center of our solar system? Mm, Earth? Earth, no, sorry. We're not the center? Fortunately, we are not the center of the uh, solar system. So a lot of times you'll get Jupiter because it's the largest. You'll get Mars, uh, because, typically because the asteroid belt and, and they, they kind of think. But actually, the planet that's in the center of our solar system is Uranus. So you will write that down in the crease. Now if you want to do the correct Greek pronunciation, it's Uranus because obviously the kids can have a lot of fun with that. All right. So now what you're going to do is you've got the middle of the universe. Now, or, or not the universe. Middle of the solar system uh, is now mapped out, and this is a big. This, you know, the kids really don't. They don't. You know, they're like, wow, well, this kind of. This wasn't was I, what I was expecting. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take and fold it back up in half. 
and you're going to fold the whole thing in half in the end. All right, open it back up. Now, sometimes what will happen is the, the, one of the mistakes that can be made when they, uh, before they do the middle of planning, uh, is that they will not write on the same side. You want to make sure that your students write all this information on the same side. All right, so now we've got two more uh, folds, and so we need to put two more items in those folds. So what item do you think goes between Uranus and Pluto? Neptune. Neptune, so you'll write Neptune right there. And yes, I have my cheat sheet right here. <laughs> Keep that handy. And then what do you think is halfway between the sun and Uranus? Mm -hmm. Earth. No, unfortunately, no, no, no. Big planet. No, not big planet. Big planet. Well, it's a big planet, but not the biggest. Saturn. Saturn. So it's Saturn. If your students know the the, the uh, order already, uh, then this you know it it should be you know they're going to hit some easy spots, but it's going to get kind of crunched down the, the end. All right, so we've got those. Now you're going to take and fold it back up in half. You're going to fold it in half. And then you're going to actually take, let's see, you're just going to take, I'm sorry, you're just going to take this half from the sun to Saturn. You're going to take it from the sun to the Saturn. See, this is why you need this. You're going to take it from the sun to the Saturn, and you're going to fold. Okay. Now, what do you think goes between the sun and Saturn? <laughs> Jupiter. Jupiter. Okay, Jupiter. And see, so at this point, this, the student should be saying, wow, I'm starting to run out of room. Because really, she's she's got less than a foot of paper, and we've got a lot of information to put in there. Right? So what you're going to do is now you're going to fold from the sun to Jupiter. So what um, what do you think goes between that? Mars. Mars. Uh, is there something between Mars and Jupiter? <laughs> the asteroid <laughs> belt. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now fold it from the sun. So right now we've got about that much paper. Fold it from the sun to the asteroid belt. Open it back up. Now what goes on that crease? Mars. Mars. Okay. All right. Now, for the next one, let's say you've got Mercury, Venus, and Earth. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold it from the sun to Mars. This is, this is where students get aggravated because they're running out of room. And then you're actually going to fold it again. All right. So now you're going to get folds for Mercury, Venus, and Earth. And, and your students can write those down. And if they've written too big all along, yeah. and once they get to the end, they're like, oh. So they have to write them small. best part of this, and this is where, you know, you didn't lie to them at the beginning. Take and fold it in half, fold it in half again, fold it in half again, fold it in half again, and fold it in half again. I'm sticking your pocket. <laughs> Watch out for the sun, it burns. <laughs> and that's solar system in your pocket. 